Shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with I be with my own bitch, ooh, I can reckless Shining like a sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish Can you help me, baby, I can't help it Hey, Dak, turn this shit up Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks back here with another GTA 5 online video And in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the full Mario outfits in the thumbnail And I will be showing them on the screen in a second I'm using the transfer glitch after the latest patch 1.50 So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video And if you do, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like And also comment down below if you want to see any outfits in particular So like some joggers outfits, some checkerboard outfits, just anything like that And also comment if you do enjoy these outfits and if you want to see more of these type of videos Because I will make sure to do them if you guys want to see more of them and also subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my content. So I'm currently on the road to 3k subs and you guys have just been showing some mad support recently. So just make sure to subscribe if you're new and enjoy my videos. So with this video we're doing a transfer glitch so this will delete all your outfits. But you will in return get these 4 awesome outfits. So I do recommend doing this if you want to get some awesome other outfits. So yeah you want to make sure you have that outfit on that you don't want to lose because you will all your outfits will get um, deleted. So just have that outfit on that you don't want to lose. And let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. So before this glitch starts, you want to make sure you have the CEO vest. I'll leave a link in the description if you don't already have it, because you will need it for this glitch. So for the first step, you want to make sure you have the CEO vest on, then you want to go over to swap character. So now once you're loading to swap character, you should see a second character. You want to go ahead and edit that by pressing X or A. And now once you've selected that, you want to go ahead and copy the rank, because it'll give you an option to copy the rank from your main character. You want to go ahead and select that, so as you guys can see there. And then if it's a male, just like mine is here, you just want to go ahead and change that to female. Then just press save and continue and then load into GTA Online. So I'll see you guys once I load into GTA Online. So now once you guys load to GTA Online, you want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu to check if you have any closed doors on the map. So as you guys can see, I have closed doors. If you don't have any closed doors, then that's fine. You just want to go ahead and find a new session by bringing up your pause menu, going over to Online and just find a new session. But if you have closed doors, then you can just go ahead and make your way over to any of the closed doors. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my way over to this closed door over here. So now once you're at the closed door, we're going to go ahead and start with the outfits. So the first outfit, you want to make your way over to the top section. And once you're at the top section, you want to go over to Tactical Jackets. And equip the, ta um, the khaki tactical blossom which should be number 79 on the list so you want to go ahead and buy that so now once you've bought that you want to back out and you want to make your way down over to gun running t-shirts so now once you're at gun running t-shirts you want to go over to number 13 which should be the grey woodland road t so you just want to go ahead and equip that so now once you've done that you want to go ahead and back out of that menu go over to the crew emblem section and then just equip your crew emblem so it can be any crew emblem, it doesn't have to be a certain crew emblem, it can be whatever crew emblem. So it doesn't matter like which one it is, it can just be random. So this will merge over the paramedic labels, uh, or paramedic logo, um, logo, sorry. So now once you're at shoes section, you want to go down to high heels. Now once you're at high heels, you want to go to number 4, which should be the cream rounded heels. So you want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, you want to back out, now you want to make your way over to the pants section, just like I do here. Now once you're at the pants section, you go down to leggings. Now once you're at leggings, you want to go down to number 8, which should be the grey tiger stripe uh, leggings. So now once you've equipped them, you just want to back out and make your way to the accessory section. So now once you're at the accessory section, you want to go over to the glove section. Uh, not the glove section, sorry, you want to go to the chain section. You want to go to the gold dicks necklace. So this will actually um, transfer handcuffs over to the outfit. So that should be number 32 out of 41. So now once you've equipped that, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So I recommend just saving this in slot 1 as outfit 1. So that's the first um, one of the outfit done. So now for the second outfit, you want to make your way over to the top section. Not the top section, sorry. The hand section. Go over to the sports pants and equip the sport muscle pants. So now once you've equipped that, you want to make your way over to the top section. 
Now you want to go down to tuck t-shirts. So now once you're at tuck t-shirts, you want to go to number 5, which should be the white roll tee. So you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that, you just want to back out go and scroll up to the biker cuts. Then you want to go over to patch darted vest, which should be number 50 out of 78. So you just want to keep scrolling until you find that patch darted vest, number 50. So once you find that, you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you want to make your way to the shoe section. Now once you're at shoe section, you want to go down to high heels again. Now once you're at high heels, you want to go to number 43. Should it be, uh, this should be the beige patent heels. So you want to go ahead and equip them. Now you want to make your way over to the accessory section again. Now once you're at the accessory section, you want to go over to the glove section and equip the light wooden tactical gloves, which should be number 4. So now once you equip them, you can just go ahead and save this outfit. So you want to make sure you save this outfit in slot number 3. So just so it doesn't get in the way of the first outfit. And then save this as outfit 2. So now once you've saved this outfit, you can go ahead and make the second component for this um, one of the outfit. So this will be the last outfit for the second one of the outfit. There's two components for this outfit. So I accidentally went to this, um, the pants section. You just want to keep the same pants on that you have. So the sported muscle pants. So you want to make your way over to the top section. Go down to tactical jackets and equip number 79, which will be the khaki tactical blossom again. So you want to go ahead and equip that. So you should already have that bought as well from the first outfit. Now once you have that, you want to make your way to gun running t-shirts and equip the grey woodland roll tee again, which will be number 13. So now once you equip that, you want to make your way over to the main desk and then you can just go ahead and save this outfit. So that's the second component done for the second wood outfit. So just save this in slot number 4 as outfit 2 again, because it is the second component for outfit 2. So now once you save this, these should be the three outfits you have. So the first outfit for the first model outfit, which is the invisible body. So now for the next outfit, you want to go to the jeans section. And you want to go down to number 38, which should be the black crop jeans. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. Now once you've equipped them, you want to make your way back over to the top section. Now you want to make your way over to leather bomber jackets. And you want to go down to number 7, which should be the multicolor SN leather. So you want to go ahead and equip that and make sure it's closed. If it's not closed, just bring up the interaction menu, go to style and then go to jacket and make sure it's closed. So now once it's closed, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. Now you want to go to high heel boots and go to number 24, which should be the deluxe midnight combat. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, you want to make your way over to the accessory section. Then you want to go into gloves and make sure you have on the light wooden tactical gloves. So you should already have them on from the previous outfit. So you just want to go ahead and set, um, equip them. Or you should already have them equipped anyway. So the next part is optional. This is for the checkable glasses and the checkboard hat. So if you want the checkable glasses, you want to go to casual glasses and go to number 22. It should be the copper marbles. So now once you equip them, you want to go to the hat section. And this is for the checkerboard hat. You want to go to canvas hats and go to number 78, which should be the grey plate canvas hat. So you just want to go ahead and select that, then you can go ahead and save this outfit. So this is the first component for outfit number 3. So you can just go ahead and save this in slot number 6, so it doesn't get in the way of the second one outfit. So now moving on to the next outfit, you want to make your way over to the top section. So you can keep on the same trousers again, you don't need to change the trousers. You want to go to the top section and you want to go over to work jackets. Now you want to go down to number 9 which should be peach camo closed field. So you need to make sure it's closed as well, which should already be closed anyway. So now once you equip that, you want to go ahead and back out, go over to tuck t-shirts and go down to the blue digital t-shirt. So that should be number 75 out of 92, so that might take a little while. I actually went to the wrong section, sorry. You want to go to tuck t-shirts. You want to go to the blue digital t-shirt which should be number 75 out of 92. So once you find that, you want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that, you can go ahead and save this outfit. So you want to go ahead and save it to slot number 7. So because it's the second component for the third outfit. So now once you save that, 
moving on to the next outfit so these are all the outfits you should have right here the first outfit for the um, invisible woody outfit then the next two for the second woody outfit then the next two for the third outfit so now moving on to the last outfit which is the CEO vest outfit you're going to make your way over to the pants section not the pants section sorry I say went to the wrong section you want to make your way over to the top section So I suddenly went um, to the pan section there, you don't want to do that, you want to make it to the top section. Now you want to go over to bustier section, and you want to go to number 17, which is the white lace bustier. Or bustier, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. So now once you equip that, you want to make it to sports jackets. So now once you're at sports jackets, you want to go to stylized guff, um, guffy puffer, which should be number 67 out of 110. So you want to go ahead and keep scrolling until you find it. So it might take a couple of seconds because it is uh, like in the middle, so you have to scroll quite a bit. So it should be number 67, stylized Guffy Puffer. You want to go ahead and equip that. So now you want to make your way over to the pants section. And you want to go down to leggings and equip the orange squash leggings. So it should be the first one on this leggings section. So now once you've equipped them, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. Now once you're at shoe section, you want to head, you want to go ahead and equip the Deluxe Midnight Combat. So you should already have them on from the previous outfit. But um, yeah, so you don't need to change them, you can just keep them equipped. Now you want to go over to the accessory section, go down to gloves. Now once you're at gloves, you want to go down to black wooden gloves, which should be number 50. So you want to go ahead and select them, equip them. So now once you equip them, you want to go ahead and take off the hat and the glasses. Because we're going to be merging on different hat and glasses. Now you want to go ahead and equip the heavy armor, which should be this green armor in the interaction menu. So now once you've done that, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So that's the last outfit in this video. And you'll also want to make sure you don't have any other accessories on, just like earrings or anything so I'll mess up the glitch. So you want to go ahead and save this into slot 10, just like I do here. I accidentally went to slot 9, but you want to save it into slot 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and name it outfit 4. This is the final outfit. So now once you save this, this is like these are all of the components done. So you now want to go ahead and do the transfer glitch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you guys the outfits. So now you want to bring up your interaction menu for the first part of the transfer glitch and just take the easy way out. So this will save all the components, like it will force a game save to save all the outfits you just made. Now once you've loaded back in, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online and go down to creator. So now you want to go ahead and start creator just like I do here. So now once you're to creator, you want to go over to create a race. Then you want to go over to land race. Now once you've loaded in, for the race details, you can just put random for the title and description. But then for the... Um, the photo you can just take around and photo the sky just like I do here but now for the maximum players you want to make sure that it's set to 2 and then the route type you want to change that to point to point and you can just change the suit like the class for the cars to super just choose any car you want just to speed it up now for the trigger location you want to go ahead and press pause bring up your map and then warp over to the airport just like I do here Now once you've walked over to the airport, you just want to go ahead and place the trigger, just like I do over here. So now once you've placed it, you can just take another random picture for the lobby camera. Now for the checkpoints, you want to roughly copy what I do. You want to place them like around the same location, but you want to make sure the race length is around 0.75. So I just like to do 0.75 because it works for me every time. So you can do like 0.74, 0.76, just like a couple around 0.75. So you want to go ahead and place the triggers and then you want to go ahead and just taste, test the race, just like I do here. So that will take a couple of seconds, we're going to go ahead and speed it up here. So now once you finish the race, you want to go ahead and set this um, alert. Now you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online, and then go down to choose character. Now you just want to go ahead and select choose character, and then wait until you load it into the choose character menu. So now once you load into the choose character menu, you want to go ahead and delete your female character, so your second character, by pressing square or X, so square on PS4, X on Xbox. And then you want to go ahead and type delete and then it will delete your female character so now once that once you've deleted your female character you want to make sure you back out into story mode do not load into online otherwise it will mess up the whole glitch so you just want to back out into story mode just like i do here 
and that should only take a couple of seconds, I'll just speed it up here. So now once you load into story mode, you just want to wait until you can move around, then bring up your pause menu, go over to online, go to play GT online, then you can start by invite only session, or if you want you can go into a public session, it's completely up to you. But just make sure you don't go into like a crew, um, closed crew session, anything like that, because that has a chance of messing up the glitch. So I recommend just to invite only session so that nothing happens, like no um, online people just mess up the glitch for you. So now once you load into GTA Online, you should spawn with uh, the CEO vest. So as again, link will be in the description of how to get it. Now you want to make your way up to the wardrobe and then just go ahead and save the outfit that you have on to the last slot. When you go to save it, you should see all the other mod outfits are there. So now once you've saved it, you want to make your way over to the outfit standard. So as you guys can see, all the mod outfits are here. So you want to go to outfit standard and equip the effortless outfit. And just go ahead and take off the glasses, just like I do here. So now once you've taken off the glasses, and also um, we're going to be starting Cookie Cop, so you will need to buy an earpiece or a rebreather. So once you have an um, earpiece or a rebreather, you want to go ahead and start Cookie Cop, just like I do over here. So you want to go to Online, Play Jobs, Rockstar Created, and then go into Versus, then just start Cookie Cop. So now once you're into Cookie Cop, you want to change the clothing to player owned, then just confirm settings, and then wait for a friend to join. Or just get a random person to join, so I just wait for a random person to join, then just start up the mission. So now once you're into the mission, you want to press run the d-pad once, and you guys should see this model outfit here with the invisible body, the all of the paramedic logos, the handcuffs, and the green gorka joggers. So now you just want to go ahead and wait until you load into the mission. So now once you load into the mission, you can just go ahead and bring up your interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and equip an earpiece or a rebreather. Now once you've equipped one of them, you want to bring up your phone and just quit the job by using your phone. So now you just want to go ahead and wait until you load into GTA Online, it should only take a couple of seconds. So you just want to wait until all of the, um, wait till you load back in from the sky. So now you just want to make your way over to the uh, ammunition store, because you should spawn right behind the ammunition store. Then you just want to go ahead and save this outfit, just underneath the CEO vest outfit, which should be in slot 20. So just save this outfit in slot 19, so it's just one above the uh, outfit you transferred over. So now once you've saved that, you can go ahead and delete the component for outfit 1. So it doesn't get in the way for the second one of the outfit. So now once you've deleted that component, you're going to want to make your way over to any uh, clothing store. Now once you're at the clothing store, you want to go over to the pants section. And you want to go over to utility pants. So now once you're at utility pants, you want to go over to number, like the last one. Sorry, you want to go to the last one and equip the black highs pants. So now once you equip the black highs pants, you want to make sure you have no accessories on. So just like I have here, no accessories. So now, once you've got no accessories on, and you've got the black bow pants on, the black eyes pants, sorry, you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online, and then just start cook up again. And now set the, set the playing, um, sorry, set the clothing to player owned, and then just wait for someone to join. So I got my friend to join this time. And then once you've got someone to join, you just want to start the mission. So now once you load into the mission, you want to, press, you want to go over to owned outfits, Press right and d-pad twice, and you should see this invisible body juggernaut outfit. So now once you see that, you want to go ahead and ready up, and wait for your friend or the random person to ready up as well. So now once everyone's ready up, you want to wait till you load in. Then once you load in, bring up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip your earpiece or accessory, uh, or a rebreather again, sorry. Then just quit the job by using your phone. So now you just want to go ahead and wait till you load back into GTA Online Lobby, then just run over to the ammunition store. So now once you've run into the ammunition store, you can just go ahead and take off the earpiece for the outfit, or if you like it, you can keep it on, but I'm going to go ahead and take it off. So now once you've taken it off, you can go ahead and save this outfit into slot 18, so just above the other modded outfit. So then once you've saved it, you can go ahead and delete the two components for this outfit, so they don't get in the way for the next outfit. So you want to go ahead and delete the two components. So there should be slot 3 and 4. You just want to go and delete them two components. Now once you're deleting them, you should see you have the both um, both the outfit freeze. So now you want to go over to the clothing section and you want to go over to the, uh, the biker section. The biker suit section, sorry. Then you want to go down to black biker suit and just equip that. Now once you equip that, you want to back out and then you want to go ahead and start cook cop again. So now once you start cook cop, you want to wait till you load in and then just set the clothing to player owned again. And then just wait for someone to join the mission again. 
So I just got my friend to join again. So now once you learn to the mission, you want to go ahead and press Friday D-pad twice on the earned outfit. And you guys should see this galaxy outfit with the cop belt, the black racing gloves, checkerboard hat and glasses, with the checkerboard trousers. So then just ready up and then wait till everyone else is ready up in the mission. So just wait till you load in. Now once you load in, you can bring up the interaction menu, go to style, and go to accessories and equip an earpiece or a rebreather. Or make sure you don't equip a rebreather because otherwise it will get rid of the checkerboard glasses. So I recommend equipping an earpiece for that outfit. And then you can just go ahead and then wait till you load back in. Just run over to the ammunition store. Then you, then you can go ahead and take off the earpiece for the outfit and just save the outfit. So you want to go ahead and save the outfit in slot number 17, so just above the two other modded outfits. And you can go ahead and delete the two components as well for that outfit, so they don't get in the way of the last modded outfit. So for the last modded outfit, this is where the CEO vest will come in, because we're going to be merging the CEO vest onto this outfit. So it will be a camo outfit with the uh, white sport shoes and CEO vest. So you want to go ahead and equip the outfit that has the CEO vest. So as you guys can see, I've just equipped the outfit with the CEO vest. So now once you've equipped that, you can go ahead and start Cricket Cop again. So now once you've started up Cricket Cop, you want to bring up your interaction, not interaction menu, sorry. You want to uh, put the clothing onto player owned, and just wait until someone's joined the mission. So now once you're in the mission, you want to press run the D-pad once. I accidentally pressed it twice, but you're only supposed to press it once. So if you um, press it twice, just go back to current and then just swipe, um, press run the D-pad once, and it'll equip the uh, CEO vest onto the outfit. So now you want to go ahead and wait until everyone's ready up and just wait until you load into the mission. So now once you're in the mission, you want to bring up your interaction menu. Go to style, accessories, and equip an earpiece or a rebreather. So I just equip the earpiece. Then you can go ahead and quit the job using your phone. So now you just want to go ahead and wait until you load back into GTA Online. And you can run over to the clothes store again. Or well, not the clothes store, sorry, the ammunition store. Take off the earpiece and just save the outfit. Then you can also just go ahead and delete the component for the outfit. So that is the outfits done, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get the hat and mask on all these outfits that are in the thumbnail. So if you want to do that, you can just go ahead and click off the video here, because all the outfits are done. So you can just go ahead and do the component. So now I'm going to show you guys what hats and helmets are you're going to merge over using the telescope glitch. So you just want to make your way over to the telescope, not the telescope, sorry, the mask store. So quickly, these are the four outfits you should have already. So I'm going to equip the CEO vest outfit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed getting these outfits. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to get the mask and helmet on the outfits. So once you're at the mask store, you're going to make your way over to uh, Diamond Casino Heist on the masks. Now once you make your way over to that, you're going to go down to number 45, which should be the white leather half face. So you want to keep scrolling until you find that, which should be number 45. So now once you find that, you want to go ahead and equip that. Now once you equip that, you want to make your way to the hat section. Now you want to go over to canvas hats and go down to number 36, which should be the light woodland boonie or bonnie down hat. So you want to go ahead and equip that as well. Now you want to make your way over to the pier just like I do here. So now once you're at the pier, you want to go next to the telescope. You want to go ahead and equip the mask that we just bought, so this white leather half face mask. Then run past the telescope, bring up the interaction menu. And then go over to style, accessories and go to hats. Then I suddenly went the wrong way of scrolling through the hats. So you want to keep scrolling until you find the light wooden hat. So once you find the hat, so I just found it in a second here. So as you can see, I found the hat here. You want to go ahead and equip it and then just walk away. And you should see the mask merges onto the outfit. So now it's merged on, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So just make your way over to the back over to the mask store. So now you can just go ahead and overwrite the CEO vest outfit you already have with this one with the merged hat and mask. So if you save the outfit just like I did, you'll have 4, 3, 2, and 1. So you want to overwrite number 4 with this outfit. Now you want to go ahead and equip number 2 because you don't want to merge anything for the checkable glasses. So for the jug for out juggernaut outfit, you want to go to the hats, go to bulletproof helmets, and then go to black bulletproof. So now once you've equipped black bulletproof, you want to go to the mask section, go to balaclavas. So I accidentally need, um, took it off here, but you want to make sure you um, keep the bulletproof helmet on. So now you want to go to balaclavas and go to number 35, I believe. So yeah, once you're at 35, should be the skull knit mask. 
So now I want to go ahead and equip the bulletproof helmet again. But once you have both of these on, you want to make your way over to the pier again. And you want to make your way back over to that same telescope. So we're going to be doing the telescope glitch again. Because we need to merge the checkerboard shoes back on. Because the checkerboard shoes come off when you equip something else on the outfit. So you want to run past telescope again. Bring up the interaction menu, go to style. And just equip the outfit and walk away. And when you walk away, you should see the mask and helmet merge on. So now you can just make your way back over to the clothes store. Oh, not the clothes store, sorry, the mask store. Now once you're in the mask store, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So you want to overwrite outfit um, slot, which is called outfit 2. So now you want to go and equip the first outfit, which is the invisible body 1. So now you want to go to the mask section and you want to go over to gas. Now once you're at gas, you want to go down to number 8, which should be the green digital respirator. Now you want to go to the hat section and you want to go ahead and equip, uh, make sure you have that uh, number 36 again, the light wooden camera hat, you want to make sure you have that. Now you can just make your way back over to the pier, just going to do the telescope glitch again. So this is the final outfit to do the telescope glitch on as well. So now once you're at the telescope, you want to land just next to it. Now run past it again, just by running the d-pad. Now you want to go ahead and select the hat again, so go to style accessories and just find the hat. So now once you found the hat, you just want to go ahead and walk away from the telescope. So now once you walk away from the telescope, you should see the hat and the mask merge on. So now you can just go ahead and save this outfit back at the mask store. So you can go ahead and override uh, one, which is what mine is called. So now for the last part in this glitch, I'm going to show you guys how to merge the, mask, um, the flight tube onto the invisible body outfit. If you guys want to do that, you, if you guys don't want to do that, you can just click off the video here. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to add another little component onto this invisible body outfit. So you want to make your way over to the clothes store just like I do. So it's the clothes store near Simeon's dealership and a strip club. So you want to make your way over to that clothes store. Go to the main desk and go over to outfits, flight suits and equip the number one which should just be called flight suit if you want to go ahead and equip that if it's too expensive for you guys then I'd just recommend not doing this part so now once you've equipped the flight suit you want to make your way over to the front of the strip club then you just want to go ahead and stand inside just at the entrance and then as you guys can see it should take off the flight tube now just equip the outfit and um, the invisible body outfit and just walk out of the closed door and now you should see that it's merged over so now you can just go ahead and make your way back over to the closed door and then just go ahead and save this So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did please make sure to let me know by leaving a like and also comment down below if you enjoyed this video and you like these modded outfits and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoying my content so I'm currently on the road to 3k subs as well so if you could subscribe that would really mean a lot so anyways thank you guys for watching this video, it's been your boy Perks and peace